So now I'm in uh, St. Bridget's Cathedral. This cathedral is in honor of St. Bridget. Hope you can hear me all right. But St. Bridget was um, a saint not that long after St. Patrick. Um, she was born in the mid 5th century, 450, 480, something along those lines. And she was a saint in this area. Um, she started an abbey. In fact, the story goes that the bishop, upon her ordination as a nun, or as her uh, conferring her as a nun, he accidentally said the, the words to confer a bishop, and he said that must have been ordained by God. She ended up starting an abbey that had both men and women. Um, she was known for her just generous, joyful spirit and for her care for the poor and for animals around her, um, which brings up something really important about um, Celtic Christianity, and that is that the Celts were very, very um, aware of the world around them, not just of um, people, but of the way they interacted with and lived with the world and the importance of the animals and um, plants and trees and all of God's creation, um, the role that that played um, in the world and in God's uh, universe and and even in kind of Christianity and in life. So you can see here's this cathedral. It goes around. It's built in the shape of a cross. So there's some corners over there. You can hear that organ music in the background. And here's kind of the floor. So St. Bridget's Cathedral.